Demand for early solution to Naga peace process is growing louder by the day. Civil society groups and traditional tribal bodies have now urged the stakeholders to sort out differences to facilitate an early solution. Speaking to Northeast Live, Naga Ho General Secretary Elu Endang said that NSC and IM and NNPGs should sort out their small differences in order to ensure that peace does not suffer for any longer. You see, uh, time and again, the Naga public and various frontal organizations have been appealing to the groups to come together. We are being faced with a situation where we have to decide our future. We understand that the seven NNPGs are also in the talk, alongside with the NSCN IM. But that should not be misunderstood or that should not create division between the groups because at the end of the day, the whole process, the whole talk is for a Naga cause and which everyone yearns for it, for a peaceful solution. Speaking on NSCN IM General Secretary, Twinga Leng Muiva's interview in Northeast Life Endang said Muiva has cleared a lot of doubts relating to the peace talks. The interview of Mr. Muiva, I think overall picture he has made very clearly to the people. And I'm sure the view viewers might have been cleared of what exactly is the Naga peace talks and where the Naga people are heading for. And he has also very clearly mentioned about the relationship between the Naga people and the uh, government of India, the model of talks and the conditions that has been faced by the group, by the Naga political groups, I think he has made very clear to the people. I think the major issues that people talk about the framework agreement, he has uh, vividly made it very clear. Speaking on the Government of India's push to close the talks within three months, the Naga Hoho General Secretary said the solution has to be acceptable and nothing could be imposed on the Nagas. When they started the talks, they have agreed, both the groups, both the parties, Government of India and the NSCN, they have agreed that talks will be held without any preconditions. No doubt the people are also expecting the solution at the earliest, but that does not mean that a condition should be placed for the talk. As long as the government of India is not willing to agree, concede to the demand placed the, by the Naga leaders, I think government of India should not place that condition. Because once that condition is placed, it is going to be an imposed solution. So the government of India must see and make a conducive atmosphere where both the parties come to a logical conclusion. Meanwhile, the Naga Tribes Council too asked the Government of India and the NSC and IM and NNPGs not to opt for any avenue that delays solution. The Nagas must be ever grateful to and also to Government of India for having invited uh, the Naga political groups for uh, negotiations, which is nothing but a means to an end. And therefore, if we miss this opportunity, only God knows what will be the end result in the wisdom of NTC. It is the opportunity for the Nagas to come to a conclusion. We have appealed to all the negotiators to conclude it logistically. The NTC also hinted that the negotiators have to come to a common ground with flexibility so that there is no further delay in the process. As a matter of fact, negotiations are not supposed to be indefinite. It is good that uh, the government of India has now set a time frame. And we feel that the government of India has done the right thing. If we become too stubborn, that until unless our desires are duly fulfilled, will not allow the solution to arrive. I think such um, rigidity may rather bring 
disaster than good. Therefore, NTC feels that keep the issue alive and yet it should not be used as a stumbling block to the process of solution. Significantly, the NTC also said that the timeline to complete talks should be honoured at any cost. And these two issues remain to be the most contentious agenda. And yes, we want to appeal to them to appreciate the time schedule laid down by the government of India. When the government of India is willing to conclude the uh, negotiations, we must appreciate it. The government of India's positivity, pos positivity should be appreciated. And this time frame is in the interest of not only uh, the government of India, definitely it is in the interest of the Nagas as a whole.